This is how it will be, first I will talk about stuff to take to the mission and what you can take to make the game faster or easier, then I will talk about some mechanics in the game mode, then I will go into mission drops and locations. Let's talk about Warframe abilities, do keep in mind that I will only be talking about Warframes that have some sort of ability that usually causes enemies to be delayed or stopped aka only frames that have some CC potential. Atlas, Petrify doesn't work on Demolists, Banshee, Soundquake won't stop them, Baruch, extremely effective, his sleep is a lingering effect that won't be stopped by nullification, it can stop them completely and cause a area lockdown. Equinox, her sleep doesn't work on them, but her peaceful provocation augment works on them given you stay out of their nullification range. Excalibur, his blind won't stop them and you can't use finishers, Frost, you can't freeze them, Gara, their nullification breaks her walls, Garuda, her 2 doesn't work on them but her 4's animation does stop them, but only few times, if you use it too much the animation won't show up. But aside from that it does cause slash procs from all sources. Gauss, again, can't feast them, Grendel, can't eat them, Harrow, his first ability works on them making him a solid option, Hildren, her four can't stop them, Hydroid, none of his abilities work on them, Enaros, again, none work, Ivara, surprisingly her sleep works on them, Korra, her second works splendidly, but her fourth doesn't, Limbo, I am not even gonna bother. Loki, his switch teleport works on them but you can't use it to drop them off the map, it only works if you're on or close to ground, other way it will only teleport you to them, not them to you, it is fun but not exactly very practical. Mag, her 4 doesn't work on them, Necris, his terrify doesn't work on them, Neja, his 4 won't work but his 2's damage increase is very significant, Nidus, his second doesn't work. Nova, her 4 is a lingering effect and works, Nyx, none of her abilities work, Rhino, surprisingly his 4th ability works on them, Titania, none can stop them, Trinity, her 1st and 2nd do work but they don't cause any animations meaning they won't stop them, Valkyr, she can't stun them, Vauban, literally none of his abilities work on them, Volt, his 4th abilities animation does stop them, Zephyr, none of her abilities work on them. Magus Lockdown and Exodia Epidemic both work, also Xenorix Temporal Blast slows them too, but all of these abilities have one similar issue, and that is the more you use that certain ability the less it will hold them, in case of Arcanes they only work few times then don't work at all, but if you use a lingering effect you will get the best results. Now let's talk about game mechanics, if you kill a heavy unit, for example a heavy gunner, a bombard, a hellion or any Eximus unit, there is a chance to get a key. The real kicker however is that, the more keys there is already on the ground, the less the chance of getting more, and backwards. So if there is no key on the ground it's almost certain that they will drop a key, and if there is already 4 on the ground the drop chance for them is significantly reduced. Keep in mind that you won't get any keys between rounds so avoid killing heavy units in that time. There is three times that keys disappear, 1. When the round ends, meaning the moment the last conduit is done, all the keys on the ground will disappear, the key word being on the ground, if you're holding a key in your hand it will be carried to next round. 2. When you put a key into the conduit all the same keys on the ground disappear. Again if you're holding one it is not affected and after that moment can be put to ground but remember to pick it up before the round ends. 3. When a key is on the ground and the exact same key drops from an enemy, if the old key have been on the ground for a good time, say a minute or so, the new one will instantly disappear the old one, but if it has not been on the ground for long enough it will disappear shortly afterwards. This makes for a good opportunity to pick up both, 
and put one on the ground after the other is put into conduit. And remember if a conduit is done, you won't get a key for it, so the key on the ground is safe until the end of the round, don't be afraid of the time passing as keys don't disappear over time. Let's talk about rotations, this is how the rotations will go. I don't suggest letting the demo units to destroy your conduits, because that takes far more time than it takes to find and kill them. Now let's talk about locations. There is only three places that have decent rewards, and those are, Olympus at Mars, for certain lith at first two and certain meso relics for the rest, you are at Uranus, for some neo relics, Apollo at Lua, for some axi relics, if a lith, meso, neo or axi relic that you want does drop in one of these locations in my opinion it is the best place to farm it. Keep in mind that the relics they drop is subject to change, so I will leave a link to the wiki page that you will find up to date drop tables.